Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Vicki Golden, thank you for joining me this morning. Right after the holiday, you and I are probably the only people working. <laughs> I believe you're right on that one. I want my audience to know that Daredevil and X Game medalist Vicki Golden, she's out to smash new world records. And I wanted to talk with her in the studio before she makes this life-changing daredevil change. Congratulations just on your attempt of doing this. You are just phenomenal. I was reading your history. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, so you're going to smash records. Okay, so you're smashing records by being a woman and doing the things that you're doing. Tell me how you're going to smash records, especially for my audience that may not be as familiar with me. I saw you on X Games. Oh, rad. Yeah, I guess we did do Austin a couple years ago, so it's pretty local for you guys. But, yeah, I'll be attempting the firewall record, which is uh, not the most uh, common record you hear about. But, yeah, we'll be setting up about 13 walls, and they're going to be lit on fire, and we're going to go through them. Well, you got to, first of all, before we talk about this, this is going to be done in an unprecedented three-hour live event. I don't think we've ever seen anything that long and that real, first of all. Then you're going to, you're playing with fire. This is like serious stuff. How do you get the nerve to do what you do? Yeah, it's a, it's a gnarly, uh, nervous type of feeling, but, you know, we have a, a lot of shows that I do with Nitro Circus already. Um, they're live shows. They're somewhat choreographed, but uh, it all comes down to us making sure that we do the tricks we're supposed to on point. So it's kind of similar to uh, to a, a live thing like this, just because you know we kind of have to hurry up and wait, and then you know when everybody's ready for me to go, it's it's time to go. So it's kind of the similar thing. So we kind of get used to this hurry up and wait, and then okay, go right now. So thankfully, I've gotten a lot of practice with Nitro Circus. Okay. So you are among the great. Uh, I had to do my homework uh, because I'm not as uh, acclimated to your field and women in your field. I was reading and I found these incredible women, Betsy Coleman, the first African-American aviator, Helen Gibson, married to one of my legends, Ruth Gibson. <laughs> All of these women were uh, uh, pioneers and, and rule breakers and what gives you the ability to want to be among those women? Yeah, it's crazy. I never really thought or even set out to like do this type of stuff to be the world, you know, first woman to do this or that. It just so happens that, you know, the things that I want to do that no female has done before. So it kind of just makes it a little added bonus when when I get to put the uh, the woman's first on the on the title, you know. I don't necessarily think it's women didn't do. I think it's human beings didn't do <laughs> human records. Yeah, that's that's very true. I don't think many people want to, when they look at walls on fire, they think, oh, maybe I'll just start up the motorcycle and go through them. I think you're fascinating, so I have to go back a little bit. Were you just kind of kid or something? Yeah, I, I, I grew up and I was just surrounded by dirt bikes the whole time. My, my older brother rode. Uh, motorcycles and dirt bikes so did my dad so uh, it was just kind of in the family thing to do and I just just jealousy got the best of me and I couldn't I couldn't be left out you know okay so you're in the the, the scope of when people say evil Knievel they are now saying your name how does that feel Man, it's pretty crazy to to have my name anywhere near Evil Knievel's and, you know, let alone to be alongside it. So I'm I'm very honored to be able to, to do this type of stunt and do it for Evil, that's for sure. Okay, so are you aware of the dangers of what you're doing? And, I, and I'm talking I'm not past the intellectual level, you know. Uh, usually our brain plays out a scenario for us when we're going to do something, whether you're shopping or doing something, you know, dangerous. It'll play a little scenario out. So are you really aware of how dangerous this is? Yeah, of course. We always feel the dangers, and we know, you know, we always go through those scenarios of worst case. Um, and, but, you know, we always go through the best case scenario, too. So we go through both in our heads, and when it comes down to it, we focus on the best case scenario, and... I have a, you know, we have a saying in this industry and it's kind of, we have a, we have an off switch on our brain. So when it's time to go, we just turn our brains off and, and we go for it. I, I like that 
So that best case scenario, do you use that in life also too to further your career and your life? Absolutely. You always try and focus on the best case scenario for anything. And if you focus on that more, then that's what's going to happen. Um, uh, one of the things we actually used to say in racing is when you're out front and you're leading and maybe you only have one lap left before you win the race, uh, you start thinking, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Well, if you think like that, then that's probably what you're focused on. So that's probably what's going to happen. So that's when you start, you got to re, kind of remap your brain and start thinking about things that need to happen in order to, to complete the race or complete whatever you're doing. So you just kind of focus on the task at hand instead of, you know, the worst case scenario. So it's just kind of just the way you mentally think and mentally wrap your brain around things is what it comes down to. That's a great, great life advice. Okay. And I was a little sad that Alex Hodges is not going to be here. But tell us what we're going to see on the upcoming, uh, I'm sorry, when do you want us to see the upcoming uh, Daredevil acts? Because we're going to be glued to the TV, I can tell you. Absolutely. It's going to be a great night. You know, unfortunately, with Axel being hurt, uh, you know, we're out a few stunts. But, you know, I'm still going to do my best to hold it down and make sure a world record happens on July 7th. So, yeah, for everyone in, in Dallas, tune in at 7 p.m. It's going to be a great thing to, to watch on History, that's for sure. That's right. That's on the History Channel. So you guys get, get watching so we can talk about that. <laughs> that's Rebecca, right. I am going to hold, Vicki, I'm sorry, I'm going to hold you in my highest thoughts that all is well, all will go well, and you will be breaking records. So thank you for gracing the bell. I think you're fascinating. You can probably tell. <laughs> But thank you for being my guest on the Valder Beauty Show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.